What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. You know what it is. Your boy JP, the Insta guy. Hope to make your Insta life a little bit easier. Today, I'm going to show you how to run a power wire through the firewall of this 2020 Chevy Silverado. These are the type of things that you're into. Please consider subscribing. This is what we do. Car radio tutorials, radio removals, anything car radio install related. That's what the channel is about. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you want to do is take this little cover thing off. You just go by pressing those two tabs. I've already had this off and I'm going to set it right over here. And then I want to look at where do I want to hook up my power wire to. Now this right here is going to be a fused bus bar. I don't actually want to tap off of any of these as far as unbolting the bolt and putting my power wire on it because when we hook our amplifier up it's going to be drawing its own 80 amps of current or 100 amps of current and we don't want to pull too much current through this one side and it accidentally pops that fuse. So I want to hook it up as close to the battery post as possible. If you can get in here and do it, to, and do it right there I guess that would be good but I think there's nothing wrong with hooking it up to this side of the bus bar because it's before the actual fusing so let's go ahead and hook it up to this and this is the actual bolt that's bolting down the bus bar to this part so I think this should be good all right so now we know where we're gonna hook it to we need to find out how we're gonna get through and as you can see right here on that rubber grommet we have a small little nipple that we're going to be able to cut. So I'm gonna reach down here with my cutters and I'm just gonna cut that top off and then I am going to take one of my wire pulling tools, push it through. We'll see where it comes out on the other side of the firewall, tape up the power wire from the engine bay side and then pull it on through. This shouldn't take long at all. All right, so you see we got our wire pulling tool going through that side, and I was hitting something on the other side. Um, I'm pretty sure that nipple goes all the way through to where you don't have to worry about cutting any type of material on the other side of that firewall grommet, but we're probably just hitting on some type of module, so let's go check. All right, so there it is right here, and yeah, so as you can see, we're just hitting that little metal uh, box. I don't know exactly what that box is, but it might be some type of media something. I can tell that that one connector has like a USB type going into it. So let's reach up under here and pull it down. All right, taped it up. Just pull her on through. All right, so in this little casing, it has like this small little uh, little groove right there. So what I'm thinking about doing, now that I have my power wire here, probably gonna do like a small little bend like that. We're gonna split loom all of this, mount it up to here, probably throw a zip tie right there, a couple zip ties here. This thing is probably gonna get a few screws going into there to actually mount the, the fuse holder. And then we're gonna, of course, we're gonna loom everything going up to that way. All right, guys, so I went on ahead and split loomed everything, zip tied it, and mounted the uh, fuse holder, like I said earlier. Got a zip tie down there going into the little nipple going inside the firewall. Now, if you guys found any type of value in this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment if you want to. I will try to have some of these product links in the description for the things that I'm actually using on this installation. Please be on the lookout for the other two parts of this video on how to actually hook up the LOC, which is the line output converter for this 2020 Chevy Silverado. And I would like to also take the time out right now in this video to thank everybody who supports the channel. Whether you guys hit the like button, subscribe, share, comment on the actual JP the Install Guy channel. Whether you visit jpsaudio.com and get one of our fan subscriptions through there. Or you do the same fan subscription through Patreon. You order some things from jpsaudio.com or you go down there in the description and hit those Amazon links. All of those help support the channel and I appreciate everything that you guys are willing to do to help me kind of stay focused and stay excited to actually give you more car audio knowledge so till next time this is your boy jp signing out telling you to keep going keep growing and have a blessed day peace and the cover does snap on 
nice. You can still catch your power right here. Snaps back on. And we're using one of the existing loops.